Hello, okay. Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me and Lana. Welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my November TBR for you all. So for the month of November, I decided that I did want to focus more on my fall TBR because I had been really slacking on even getting close to picking up those books. So I definitely need to work hard to at least get some of them read this month. So without further ado, let me tell you about these books. So the first book I have here is actually not on my fall DBR, so. But it is going to be a buddy read I'm doing with Erin from Booked and Busy and Kay from I Love Books OK. And I'm so excited to be buddy reading this with them. They initially got me interested to read this book because they kept raving about how good this series was and that book is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. So Erin and Kay kept raving about this and I finally just decided to pick it up. So it'll be my first time reading anything by Victoria Aveyard and I'm intrigued to see if I will enjoy this series. I don't really know much about what it's about. I know it has like a class system and it has something to do with like blood and like the color of someone's blood I think or something like that. So I'm just gonna leave it at that because I kind of want to go in without knowing much but I'm definitely looking forward to this buddy read. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of fun with it and yeah. The next book I have on this TBR is If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigmund Broga. This is their second novel and it is, I believe, a Taming of the Shrew retelling almost. And I'm definitely looking forward to reading this because it sounds really cool. I believe it's about like a popular girl who kind of realizes how maybe self-absorbed she's been or mean at least. So I think it's along those lines. I'm definitely looking forward to reading this and really getting a good understanding of what's going on. I enjoyed their first book, Always Never Yours. And so I really think I'm gonna enjoy this one just as much. The next book that I'm super excited to pick up is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Again, I've heard so many good things about Elizabeth Acevedo, heard so many th good things about her books. I believe a lot of people really enjoyed this one as well. And I believe this one's in verse. So I'm definitely excited to pick it up. I don't really pick up novels in verse as much as I probably should, so I'm definitely looking forward to expanding that side of my reading. And it just sounds really interesting. It's about two girls who find out that they're sisters when their father dies in a plane crash. So definitely intriguing stuff. Next I have Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. This I am really excited to read. It's about a girl who wants to take part in this tailoring competition that her kingdom is hosting and in order to do so she has to dress up as a male because of the fact that only men are allowed to enter. So it's kind of, it's sold as Mulan meets Project Runway. So I love me some Mulan, anything that has like the Mulan vibe I will pick up and like adds my TBR because it's one of my favorite stories and I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. Erin from Booked and Busy said this one is really good as well. So I'm definitely taking her opinion into account here. Next is an oldie, but hopefully still a goodie. So I have Ruling Passions, which is a bind up of the first three series, The Drake Chronicles by Alexandra Harvey. And I will be reading the first book, which is Hearts at Stake. And it's essentially about a girl who is the only female vampire to be born within her like species and so there's like a huge prophecy surrounding her birth and just her life and it's kind of her getting through that but also dealing with the fact that she has seven older brothers who are so overprotective and 
she may be falling in love with the enemy and stuff like that. So I read this when I was in high school and I kind of want to reread it just to see if I would still like it now because I don't really remember as much about it as I probably should. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to reading this and seeing if my feelings will stay the same. The last book I have on my list is This Is My America by Kim Johnson. This is about a girl whose father is on death row and so she's been fighting all these years to try and prove his innocence essentially and get people to see him as the human being that he is. And then her brother ends up being arrested and charged for a crime as well so now she has to work double as hard to fight for both of them. And I feel like this is going to be a heavy hitter for me. I feel like it's really going to touch on a lot of emotions and I'm just looking forward to that because I feel like this is going to be a very good read. Alright, so that is my November TBR. Hopefully you all enjoyed watching this. Let me know what you will be reading in November. And if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, please leave anything you have to say in the comment section down below. If you are not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji. I love hearing from you all. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.